In the grim dark war game of for Warhammer 40k, players collect, customize, um, and create one-of-a-kind miniatures, which they amass into armies and cast against each other in epic firefights on the tabletop. Today, we'll be painting a Primaris Intercessor Space Marine in the colors of the Iron Hands. Uh, the paints that I'll be using are Army Painter's Matte Black, Citadel's Lead Belcher, Citadel's Rackarth Flesh, Citadel's Corn Red, Army Painter Matte White, and Vallejo Flat Brown. Before the show, Michael went ahead and built and primed the miniature using Army Painter Matte Black, which while giving us a nice even base coat, will also allow for easy cleanup afterwards using the matching paint. So, to start us off, we're gonna try to hit up some of the white. Um, light colors like white really don't go easily onto um, dark colors, so you have to give them a couple tries and you don't wanna glob it on. In fact, you wanna do the opposite. So we're gonna shake it up really good and we're just gonna get a little bit of dollop in our wet palette. Um, I make my own wet palette, wet palette, but you can actually get them from your local hobby store. Citadel and Army Painter both make fantastic wet palettes. I'm gonna take my medium layer brush and I'm gonna get a little bit of water in it, just a little bit, and I'm going to mix it into my paint until I get a nice ice cream, melted ice cream sort of consistency. Um, and there we go. And then we're going to take the model and we're gonna start by sort of getting it onto the pauldrons. Um, the edges of the pauldrons are raised and so you're gonna to wanna to take the flat of your brush and sort of just lay it against the pauldron and stroke it down there and it'll go on nice and sharp. Sometimes you have to do a little bit more line work but in this case you just wanna take that nice thin thinned out paint and just kind of put it on there and you'll see it doesn't go on perfectly um, solid but that is just because it's a white paint and you're putting it directly onto a very very dark surface um, you don't have to go all the way around people aren't going to look that closely these models are on the tabletop and we're just trying to get them battle ready but i'm just going to go all the way around and don't worry about little mess ups because that is why we have the army painter black is just to clean up any spots where we get paint where we don't want it. So you're gonna go around the model and you're gonna do that a uh, couple big points. You wanna do it on the pauldrons if you can and you're also gonna wanna do it on the gun. So the iron hands really do pride themselves on their efficiency and they also just their, uh, their simplicity. They don't really care about bedazzlements, they just wanna get the job done and do it right. So thankfully for us, that means we don't actually have to paint a lot of fancy little checker patterns or logos. Um, they're mostly just gonna have any markings that would really designate what battle role they, they ought do and um, just basic, clear things on the battlefield. Um, so you're just gonna, and once again, you don't need to worry. You can see that it's not going on perfectly strong, but you'll wanna go back over it later just with another layer of white. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly base coat this gun. Um, all base coating is, is just laying down a basic layer. And you can see I'm, I'm going right over some of the ridges there. I can touch that up with either black later or um, some lead belcher when we hit up the silver parts. It's uh, nice, it's simple, and you don't really need to worry too much about it. You don't feel like you gotta be perfect. Uh, the goal of this is to get it to where you can take it to a game and play it on the battlefield and people are gonna look at it and say, oh, look at that, it's iron. <laughs> Iron hands. Big point um, here, sorry, I'm hiding it from your camera right now. Really just move it around the model just to get it to where you can stroke naturally um, so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly touch this and I'm actually not gonna hit with uh, a couple other layers, um, but usually you just wanna keep going over this with more layers until you get a nice solid white. I'm just gonna get the base coat down and then we're gonna move on to the next paint for time. All right. There's always something really good looking about just white and black. And you can see I messed up a little bit there and it won't matter because we'll just touch it up later. All right, so the next color, big color we're gonna do is we're gonna get lead belcher. You wanna shake it really sharp. Um, you're gonna wanna shake it really good. Make sure that you get those metallic flakes really mixed up in there. And this is gonna be the paint that is covering all of the metal bits. 